Hello everyone, welcome to Reading Through the Bible in One Year. I'm Taylor Rattanasen, and today our readings are Acts 10 through Acts 11 verse 18. Now this entire chapter, it is so packed full of things that we could learn, but today I wanted to focus on obedience, and not just any obedience, but immediate obedience. As we read through the chapter, we will see this pivotal shift that occurs. God himself has revealed his will, and specific instructions. However, it was essential that Cornelius and Peter would both be obedient to God's call. And it wasn't just obedience that could occur at any point in time or when it was convenient for them. It needed to be immediate because the timing was crucial. And their obedience, it would begin this breakdown of the separation that had existed between believing Jews and God-fearing Gentiles. Because up to this point, it was thought that a Gentile believer could not be considered being saved unless he had converted to become a legal Jewish citizen. And we know from scripture that that requirement was not part of God's plan. And so how did both men obey God in chapter 10? First, we see Cornelius. An angel of the Lord had come to him, and he was a God-fearing Gentile. He came to him in a vision, and he he instructed him to send men to Joppa to bring back this Jewish man named Peter and to stay with him and his family in his home. And this would be unacceptable for a Jewish man to do. And so in verse 7, we see it says, When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants, he told them everything and had them sent sent to Joppa. So as soon as the angel of the Lord had spoken to him and was gone, he reacted. And then in verse 9, we see the next day they were on their way to and approaching the city when Peter went up and he started praying at, um, on the rooftop. Peter even, um, essentially has this vision. And it was a vision that God had revealed to Peter that him and all Jews should no longer believe that Gentiles coming to faith in God are unclean. The reality is that God, in fact, accepted Gentiles coming to faith in him without the need to undergo this legal change to become a Jewish citizen. And so this would change everything. And so next, we see how Peter and his obedience comes into play, looking at verse 19. While Peter was still thinking about the vision, Simon, um, Simon, three men are looking for you, the spirit said. So go, get up, go downstairs, do not hesitate, and go with them, for I have sent them. Verse 21, Peter went down and said to the men, I am the one you're looking for. Why have you come? And so he was obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit. When, he, when the Holy Spirit said, rise up, go without hesitation, that is exactly what Peter does. And so the obedience of Cornelius sending men immediately after hearing from the Lord and Peter going down without hesitation and going with those men would fulfill the Lord's plans. If we read the rest of the story, we see that Peter, he would share the message of God, um, message that God had called them together to hear and the Gentiles got to hear the good news. And so um, in verse 34, we see, Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. And so he, show, he shows them it doesn't matter if you're Gentile or Jew. God accepts you. And then he continues and he gets to share the good news of salvation. And then what happens? We see in verse 44 that while Peter is sharing this, the Holy Spirit um, fell on those who heard the word. And the believers, they were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. And so this is incredible. The Holy Spirit fell on those who heard the word. This is a major turning point in which God himself supernaturally orchestrated the coming together of Jews and Gentiles, and in this moment, he um, destroyed all walls of separation through the demonstration of his power by his spirit. And so obedience, 
it matters. All of them um, doing what they were called to do in the moment that they were called led up to this moment. And so immediate obedience is critical. We don't know why God calls us to do certain things, but we know that his timing, it always matters. Everything, every detail, every moment is planned out and it matters. And so today, I want us to meditate on this. Do we desire God and all his ways and his promises more than anything? Is God calling you to do something that requires immediate obedience today? And so ask him, seek him, and respond to his calling. I hope you guys have a great day.